Hello, I'm Julie Elroy, artist and author. And today I'm showing you my painting called Only He Knows Your Pain, number two. Copyright 1998. You can find this painting in my book called Healing Touch for Mind, Body, and Soul, an artistic look at the healing touches of Jesus. You can find my book on Amazon or request it at your local bookstore. I think this painting would look great in your home, your office, or even in a hospital. And my books would be great to be sold in hospital gift stores as well. Let's take a look at my painting. Here we see the destruction of the Oklahoma City bombing that took place in 1995. If you look closely, you will see a blood-stained cross glazed across the building. Sometimes it feels like our lives are falling apart like this building. Some people have been hurt so badly that it feels as if their life has been destroyed. Because of the life of Jesus on earth and his sufferings on the cross, there is no mental, physical, or emotional pain that Jesus has not felt. We can go to God in prayer and give him our emotions and our burdens. Psalms 147.3 talks about God healing our broken hearts and our, and our healing our wounds. We can ask God to heal us of whatever our past pains and sufferings are. Sometimes it takes forgiveness in order for healing to begin. Forgiveness is not a human thing, and sometimes we need to ask God for help in order to do that. Thank you for joining me today for Artistic Meditations on Scripture. If you'd like to have a print of this painting, you can find it at fineartamerica.com slash profile slash Julie Elroy. This painting would look great in your home, your office, or even in a hospital. At Fine Art America, you can get small gifts like t-shirts and coffee mugs so you can get the conversation started about your faith. Below you will find the link for your meditations. The Bible verses are below. You will also find the link for my book, Healing Touch for Mind, Body, and Soul, an artistic look at the healing touches of Jesus. Find my book on Amazon or request it at your local bookstore. And remember, keep spreading the good news of Jesus to everyone.